Namibia's infant mortality rate stands at 44 deaths per 1,000 live births. The country missed goal 4 target of the 2015 Millennium Development Goals, which is aimed at reducing child deaths by 39 per 1,000 births. Transport, delayed or prolonged labor, substandard care, health facilities and pregnancy complications highly contribute to the infant deaths. With emergency care, not all those rushed to the theater make it and Esther Chafelis was about to be a mother when she underwent an operation to give life last year. Then when I woke up, I was asking, oh, where's my baby? And I was like, no, no one answered me at that moment. Then they, they had to take me to another room and then when the nurse came, then she told me, no, your baby passed on. The reason was because the umbilical cord came first before the head. Statistics remain high and those at the forefront to bring the figures down had this to say. That we are losing lives of women and children unnecessarily. One delay is the decision-making delay. And international partners still want to make a dent on child mortality by equipping health facilities with the right tools to improve maternal and child health at the country's nine district and referral hospitals. The Khobabes district hospital just received its package and the European Union appeals for good governance, procurement, tendering, choosing what is really needed and what does not imply extra running costs, but what saves lives, so to prioritize perfectly. One that is also expected to improve maternal and child health is the maternity waiting homes for pregnant mothers. And with nothing being left to chance, hopes are high to bring down maternal and child mortality to an acceptable rate.